In this video, we will generate the trend line data set and trend line equation of the Gaussian integral and the Gaussian functions. So we begin with the exponential form, which is RA formula, exponent of the x values from negative 2 to positive 2. And factor in the square. So that's raised to the power 2. And factor in negative 1. So negative 1 times. And here you have the trend line and the trend line equation, which is polynomial to the 8th degree. We'll generate the same using the Taylor Maclaurin series sum, which is equal to the summation of a times x to the power 2n, and n is from 0 to infinity. We can go as far as 12. Yep. Now we can use the series sum, RA formula, because it's a summation, so series sum of the x values raised to the power 2n. And 2n starts from 0 incremented by 2. So 0 incremented by 2. And the coefficient will be this range. Now we can work on the coefficients, which is equal to RA formula. Minus 1 to the power n raised to the power n all over factorial of n. And here you have the red data set and the blue data set on the same trend line. And their trend line equations polynomial are the same. So we will calculate the Gaussian integral. To do that, we also use the same n factors and same series sum formula except that this is now the integral of x to the power 2n the integral of x to the power a times x to the power 2n is a times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 and this is the original a negative 1 to the power n over n factorial so this is equal to r a formula series sum of the x values raised to the power 2n plus 1, where 2n plus 1 starts from, that's 2n plus 1 starts from, where n equals 0, so starts from 1, and the increment is, the next will be 2n plus, 2, 2 times 1 is 1, plus 1 is 3, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so the increment is 2, and the coefficient will be this range. Now we can work on the coefficient, the new coefficient. So R formula, again, we have negative 1 to the power n. Divided by factorial, but there are two parts now, factorial of n. And the second part will be times 2n plus 1. So 2 times n plus 1. And here you have the trend line of the Gaussian integral. And the trend line equation, which is polynomial to the 8th degree of the Gaussian integral, will calculate these regression coefficients using Linus. To do that, we complete the 1, comma x matrix. And here you have the 1, comma x matrix. We start with the power, which is transpose from 0 to 8, because it's an 8 degree polynomial. There's no degree of freedom. Now we can complete the 1, comma x matrix. RA formula, RA formula of the x values raised to the power 0 to 8. Now that we have the 1, comma x matrix, we can calculate Linus for the exponential form. So Linus, data y, and data x. And for the Taylor Maclaurin series, sum of the Gaussian function. So Linus, data y, and data x. And the Gaussian integral. So Linus of data y and data x. Now let's compare this with our trend line equation of the chart. So our 
the coefficient of x to the power 0 is 1, 1, 0. So 1, 1, 0. For x, you have 0, 0, 0.996. For x squared, negative 0.994, negative 0.994, and 0. For x cubed, 0, 0, negative 0.313. X to the power, x to the fourth, that's 0 0.464, 0 0.464, and 0. X to the fifth, that's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.696. X to the sixth, negative point three one negative point one one three negative point one one three and zero x to the seven zero zero ne that's negative point six five two or six point five two times ten to the minus three and x to the eight point zero one one point zero one one and zero so this completes the use of Taylor McLaurin series sum Linus polynomial regression RA formula to generate the trend line and trend line equation polynomial of the Gaussian function and the Gaussian integral.